For example, the Android system sends broadcasts when various system events occur, such as when the system boots up or or the device starts charging. I will start from a new project. You can open your existing project. Click Options, Java, click on plus icon and add a new class. I will call it MyRes, short for My Receiver. After the class name, we have to add extends broadcast receiver keyword. And implement on received method. On received context cn intent in. And here I will just simply add a toast. First, we have to pass the context, then the message, I will say broadcast received. And in the third parameter, we have to tell it how long we want to show it. And after that, we have to call dot show to show the toast. Then we have this code, you will find this. Uh, file in our telegram channel and link in description in the one create you have to register the broadcast copy this code and place it here in asd you must unregister broadcast receiver when it is not used so i'm unregistering it at on destroy event we need to add import statements so i will add them in java class and in a more block i will declare broadcast receiver object name of this object should be exactly same as our java class and in the on destroy i have entered wrong spelling for receiver so i will correct it So that's our broadcast receiver working. You can replace the toast with something useful that you want to actually use. There are a lot of system events when system sends broadcasters. You can also send custom broadcasters to let apps know that your app have done something such as downloaded new data.